Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to make proxy servers on Minehut. Minehut now supports proxy servers, and to set up a proxy, you need to go to your minehut.com dashboard. So we have our MH Touch server here. I am not going to mess with that because I like the server um, and I don't want that server to go anywhere. So I'm actually going to stop that because we're going to attach it to a proxy later. So in order to use a proxy, your server needs to have a server plan. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our MH.2 server. I'm going to give it the daily plan. In order to attach your server to a proxy, it also needs to be on a daily plan. So I'm just going to give us, we're, we're, we're spending all of the tutorial account money. <laughs> there we go. So we have all of our servers on daily plan. One of them is going to be a proxy. Two of them are going to be on the server. Um, we will... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hibernate this server. So all servers hibernating, all servers on daily plan. The first thing that you need to do is create your proxy server. So in order to create a proxy, you're gonna go to change server, and then in server type, you go to the drop down, and then you can pick from velocity or waterfall. Uh, the the biggest differences are that if you want to use any Bungie plugins for your proxy, you'll want to go with waterfall. Uh, if you don't mind, or if you don't have any Bungie plugins that you want to use, um, I personally prefer velocity. That's actually what Minehut uses uh, for our own proxy software to connect all of the servers together. So I'm going to go with velocity, and then I am going to do stable automatically updated, which means that anytime a new Minecraft version comes out, we will always release or make it support the latest version. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do save changes. Uh, because I wasn't actually using this server for anything, I'm not going to create a backup. But if you were using the server, changing it to a proxy will reset it. Um, and so I am not going to create a backup. And there we go. And this is now a proxy. Um, there we go. Server networks operate a little bit differently. Uh, and to activate the network, you have to actually activate a proxy and then it will activate the servers within the network. So now this server, this is just a normal Minecraft server. So I am going to connect this server to our MHTUT2 proxy. Hybrid mm. network and change proxy. And because our uh, proxy isn't actually online, I don't have to hibernate it. So this was already shut down. I'm also going to add this to the proxy. So what's the advantage of having a proxy server versus a normal server? So the great thing about a proxy is if you have a server and you're trying to grow it and say you run into like the max number of players you can host on a single Minecraft server and you really just want to grow past that, you can connect these servers together. So that way, if you want to have like a faction server and a skyblock server, you can have those completely separate. Or if you have a really good skyblock server that's hit the max players and you want to continue to grow, you can set up two separate skyblock servers on the same network. And then if you use something like Tebex to monetize your server, Tebex can tell both of your servers when a player buys something, so that way your ranks and everything can carry between both of your servers. Ooh, that's cool. So I am going to actually make it so MHTUT is the first server listed on the proxy. There we go. So now the first server listed is the one that players will join when they join your proxy. Um, I'm also going to change the name of this, MHTUT proxy. I'm going to change the name of this to MHTUT proxy. There we go. Hopefully that name's not taken. Will it go through? Nice. So now we have all of our servers. We have two servers that will be within the proxy, one server on the proxy. I'm going to activate the server network. So now you can see all of the servers within the proxy have turned online. So I have my proxy, da 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 da. I have my server within the proxy, and I have another server. So now if we go in the lobby, I'm going to click on MHTUT proxy. I'm going to slash join MHTUT proxy. There we go. That's what I thought. So then we type slash join the MH.proxy and then it will put me on the server that is listed first here. So it put me on MH. So if I go to manage server and then I was went to go to console, I can see Trent joined the game. So Trent joined here. And if I go back to here, I can actually look at the live console of the proxy itself. And so you can see that, oh yeah, it's Brian, Santio, Trent connected. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it's Brian. And so now I am back on our tutorial server. So this is where we were before. Here's my horse from last week's tutorial. And then if I type slash server, it will show me the different servers within this proxy. So you can see that mm -hmm. there's MHTUT and MHTUT3. I can click on that and it'll send me over to this server. So MHTUT, there we go. It will send me back there. So velocity and waterfall, both by default, 
have proxy plugins on here that will let you go between uh, the different servers. So you can do slash server when you're within a proxy and go between those two servers. And if you do slash find on somebody that's on a proxy, it will not show the server within the proxy they're on. It will show that they are on the proxy itself. And so there is that proxy. Oh, so I just tried to slash join MH cut and it says I cannot manually activate a sub network server. So what do I, do I have to join the main hub? Is that why it's not letting yes. me in? Cause that's not so the main one. Great question, Curtis. So if you connect your servers to proxies, uh, players will have to join your proxy and then your proxy will decide where to send those players based on is was it the last server they were online? Did you set a default server? Um, otherwise, the way that it handles it by default is it will, if you have your proxy, it will send you to send players to the first server. So you can't join mm. MHTUT directly right now. You have to join MHTUT proxy. And if okay. I go to manage, if I go to manage on the proxy, I can scroll down and I can reorder the servers here as well. Cool. And then I can set all the proxy settings that I want. Uh, and then if you have an MOTD, if you want your server to show up in the Minehut ser server list in the lobby, you need to do that on the proxy, not the individual server level. So if I want to add okay. categories or a description, uh, all of that needs to be done on the proxy, not the individual server level. If I go to the file manager now, uh, these are, I guess it has some old files from here, but if I wanted to add plugins, uh, you can add plugins as well uh, to your proxy. Uh, we will show, we will grab some links uh, in the description to plugins that you can install for both waterfall and velocity proxies. And that's how you make proxy servers on Minehub.